everyone, it's Kelly. Um, I'm just going to do a really quick and simple card today. Um, I'm basing it off of the Etsy Inspired Challenge, um, which uh, Lawn Fawn is actually hosting this week, and we're giving away uh, Critters in the Burbs to one winner. So um, that's pretty exciting, and the shop is so cute. You have to go check it out. I think it's etsyinspired.blogspot.com. I'll put it down across the bottom so you guys can see it. But uh, one of the first things I want to start with is um, our acrylic blocks. Just so you know, if you buy them, um, some of them come in like, you know, cellophane bags, but the ones that don't have this brown paper on it, and that's to protect it so it doesn't get all scratched up. So you just peel it off like that. There's one side. So this is a little mini one that we actually don't carry them. The manufacturer sent me them by mistake, so uh, eventually um, I'll give them away to you guys. Pass on. Um, pass on the free stuff, but I thought I would use one myself. So, <laughs> anyways, um, so here's my little acrylic block. Um, you can see now it's perfect. So that way in the mail you don't, it doesn't get scratched up. That's what the brown paper is all about. So we have our four bar size note card, which is four and seven eighths by three and a half, and uh, we have the acrylic block I showed you earlier. And I'm going to put the uh, paper clip on. And then the first thing I'm going to do is use the aquamarine chalk ink. And this is the first time I had used it. I, I ordered it because I thought it was really pretty. It is a very light color. It's very subtle. So um, I'll show you guys that now. So I'm just going to ink up. And I'm going to do a light touch, but enough to get ink on there. And see, I'm going to look at it and make sure the ink's on there. And then I'm actually going to stamp it off once just to make sure I got the right amount, and I did, so I know that that's kind of the right amount of pressure. Because sometimes with chalk ink, with the lighter ones, you really want to make sure you have enough on there. So now I've got my card here, and I'm just going to stamp my little paper clip in the corner. And there it is. And you can see it's pretty light. And um, you'll notice a lot of times with chalk ink, it's kind of like Distress Ink. It'll look a little bit blotchy, and then it kind of dries into a really nice look. And then what I do is I take a baby wipe and I wipe off the, the excess chalk ink since it's pretty thick ink. And then I usually wipe it on my scrubber pad with um, the Ultra Clean also. Yeah, I put wet on one side, dry on the other just to make sure it doesn't stain too much. Then I just stamp off the Ultra Clean. Then the next color I'm going to get out is the Yellow Cadmium. And this one's definitely a mustardy color, and I really like it. And it's a little definitely more saturated than the other one. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to pick up the ink, kind of look at it, see that it's pretty good, test it off. I always test it off. I guess I'm, maybe I'm a paranoid stamper. <laughs> I always like to test things so um, and make sure they're okay. So that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to stamp this one right here. And then the next thing I'm going to use is a smiley face. And this is from the set that we're going to sneak peek on Tuesday, um, and I'm really excited about. And, uh, and so anyways, um, this is a little smiley face. It's just a little sneak peek, but the smiley face makes me super happy. So I'm actually going to use um, charcoal ink for this one. And just a couple taps. And then, because it's a clear stamp, I can line it right up over my paper clip. Make it a smiley paper clip. So... I'm going to go across, uh, go and do it on the other paper clip. And once again, I always test it. Make sure I'm doing okay. Because sometimes shocking, if you press too hard, it's going to get in your crevices. And then sometimes it'll get all over your card. So you do uh, have to be careful. So you just kind of tap it. And here I go. I'm just going to stamp it on the other paper clip. And so now I have two smiling paper clips. The next thing we're going to do is actually use some stamps from the sneak peek that's on Monday. And here is what we're looking at. I heart you. So I have it all lined up so I can see what it's going to look like. But I'm going to take the heart out um, because I want to stamp that in a different color. So pumpkin spice it makes me hungry every time I want a pumpkin spice now. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm tapping. I'm seeing a pretty good coverage. So I'm going to make sure my card's lined up and stamp this right here. So I'm putting that heart from before. I'm getting used to the autofocus on this camera, by the way. Um, and uh, I'm going to use the Berrylicious color for the heart. So here's the Berrylicious. I'm going to line that heart up. Uh, 
and there's that. Um, the other thing I suggest is taking your ink pad. I think when they're in the warehouse, they're up bright for a long time. I would take your ink pad and turn it upside down. And just leave it there for a little while and make sure all your ink hasn't settled to the bottom. Uh, that's just my opinion. I'm no expert. It's just what I do. <laughs> so that's that. So here's my little card and I want to give it a little more interest since it's, you know, a very white space, clean and simple card. So I'm going to round. I got sawdust on everything. Okay, so I'm going to round. I'm using my corner chomper. This is We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. You can do half an inch round or quarter. I like the half. I like the bigger one. So I'm going to round this top corner. And I always start with one and then I decide if I want to keep going. So oh, there we go. I'm in, I'm in the wrong place. So I'm going to round that and uh, see how it is. And um, I actually really like it that way. I, I like one corner round. So I think I'm gonna stick with that and, um, and call it a day. So this is a card showing some of the new Lawn Fawn stamps uh, in a really simple way. This is one you could reproduce a lot with, and the high heart you can be for a friend or you could, you know, you could use all sorts of different sentiments of ones you have for friends, for loved ones, thank yous, anything like that, it's a, especially for someone who just want, needs a laugh. So uh, that's, that's the card. And um, <laughs> I always get confused with the camera because it's showing me everything upside down. So that's the card. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Bye.